Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to always display your FPS in Minecraft Java Edition. And as you can see on the top left of my screen it currently says that I have around 300 frames per second. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials just like this one in the future. And so the ability to show parts of the F3 debug screen permanently in your game without any mods is a very recent addition and was added in Minecraft Snapshot 25W31A for the third game drop of 2025, most likely 1.21.9. So if you want to make use of this tutorial, make sure you're in the most recent version of Minecraft Java Edition and then you should be able to work this out in the same way I'll be showing you. So by default, your game will look something like this, where there is nothing in the top left of your screen and only if you press the F3 button you will see your FPS there at the very top left of your screen along with a whole lot of other information. However if you just want to keep an eye on your FPS then having this entire screen open can be quite annoying. So luckily they've also added customization to this F3 debug screen now and the way to actually get to the customization is by holding down the F3 button and then pressing F5 and this will bring you over to the debug options menu. Now, if you are playing on a laptop that has the FN button on the bottom left, then you may also have to press that one to actually unlock the F key actions. And so once you've made your way over to this screen, here you can customize what you can see in your F3 menu. For example, if you also want to see the biome you're in, in your F3 menu, you can click on in F3 here. By default, it is set to off. You can always go back to the default profile by clicking default profile here. And you can always go to a performance profile by clicking the performance profile here. Now, as you can see, this performance profile also already adds the FPS to your main game window. But for now, we'll just stick with the default profile and only change the FPS because the performance profile also makes some other changes. So we can either search for FPS over here, FPS, and you will see the FPS option. Or you can just scroll down until you see it here in the list. So as you can see, by default, it is set to in F3. But if you just click on the always button here, now indeed you'll see that the FPS is always displayed in our game. We can click on done and there we go. Now we can see the FPS throughout our game always. And so this setting is actually applied to your entire game. So not just the world I'm currently in. We can go out of this world and you'll see that we can still see the FPS here even in the menus. And you can see that it's locked to 60 here by default in the menus. Because in case you were wondering what the T meant here... It is actually the limit you set to the FPS. So if you go into your options and then into video settings, then there is this max frame rate slider. If you change this value, you can see that the T value changes and that sets the maximum value my FPS can actually be. But by default, I always have it set to unlimited, which means that the FPS can go as high as I want it to go with no cap. And so there we go. That's what to always show the FPS in Minecraft Java Edition. If you have any more questions about this, then please leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe.